Roseville, Michigan is an island in the middle of the Detroit River that sits just south of the city of Detroit. Cadillac landed here in the early 1700s on his way upriver to find a place for Fort Pontchartrain. In 1776, the McComb brothers, William and Alexander, two land prospectors, came to Grozeal and purchased the island from the Potawatomi and Wyandotte Indians. They settled the island by leasing it to farmers. In the War of 1812, it was decided that Grozeal would be part of the new found United States and a lot of those farmers left the island and went back over to Canada because it was now, it was no longer under the French or British flag. So in that brief short history, three different flags have flown over the, the island. The American flag, the British flag, and the French flag. From that point on, the island grew and became more of a uh, vacation resort. The river traffic also increased and the Cleveland Vessel Owners Association petitioned Congress to have a series of lighthouses built along the riverfront and on Grozeal. The first lighthouse was built in 18, around the late 1890s and then a more permanent one was built on Lighthouse Point in 1904. That lighthouse was then later uh, updated in 1906, and that is where our current lighthouse sits. This lighthouse was built in 1906. The lighthouse was built as part of uh, uh, another lighthouse that was on the mainland, which was uh, a range lighthouse to guide the vessels on the Detroit River coming downstream. The original 1894 Gross Eel Lighthouse resembled a water tower on stilts as it was constructed on wooden peelings along with a 170-foot walkway to the shore. It was rebuilt in 1906, and this is a classic white structure seen today. The lighthouse keeper lived in a one-room cabin near the rear tower until a larger house finally was built on the property in 1904. In addition to keeping the lights burning, the keeper was responsible for cleaning and painting the lighthouses. Oil for the lamps was stored in metal structures near the lights, as was a supply of glycerin which was used to clean the windows and keep them from freezing during the cold winter months. The lighthouse keeper's house was originally on Mama Jude Island. The uh, island has since washed away. And uh, every day, uh, the lighthouse keeper rode down here in his boat, just about a mile row, and uh, light this light. Uh, and uh, in the evening and uh, then row back to his house uh, and uh, then in the morning row back down here and uh, uh, turn the, the oil lantern off and uh, pull down the shades so the sun didn't shine on the, the uh, Fresno lens and uh, start a fire. And he cleaned the windows and cleaned the lens and, and uh, get it all ready to light the, second, uh, the next evening. The lantern used to sit on a pedestal right here in the middle. You can see that wooden block down there. Uh, uh, and it was a, a bronze uh, pedestal. Uh, and it uh, shone uh, 90 degrees. Uh, because it was a range light and uh, it uh, had Fresnel lens and was oil. The lights were electrified in 1929. The grow seal light was an oculating white light flashing one second on and one second off. The last keeper left grow seal in 1932 when the Coast Guard and Wyandotte took charge. In the 1940s, the lights were turned off forever and the huge lenses were removed by the Coast Guard. In 1963, the Gross Eel light was decommissioned. Two years later, the township purchased the lighthouse from the U.S. Department of the Interior with funds from the Gross Eel Historical Society. The society was given the responsibility to preserve and maintain the lighthouse. The process of restoring it started in, in uh, 1984 uh, with the new foundation surround. Uh, as you see it behind me with a steel sheet piling and 100 yards of, uh, of concrete pumped in the inside of that foundation. Uh, this is the scene looking out uh, the old dock uh, that is privately owned 
to uh, the base of the lighthouse. And uh, you can see the concrete where it goes down to the water line is undermined and, and flaked off and, and, and uh, is in very, very poor condition. And uh, unfortunately, we had to start in, in uh, wintertime. Like the best of my memory, we started in December. And we had a cold winter, froze right away. And uh, this contractor worked on and off uh, throughout the winter to uh, drive the, the uh, new steel sheet piling and the, uh, the uh, uh, bearing piling uh, foundation around the, uh, the uh, old foundation. This is the following year. This is the winter of 1985-86. Uh, of, uh, and what happened after the new foundation was, was built. And uh, if this had happened, this ice flow that is almost an unstoppable force uh, comes down the river with a, a northeast wind and the, and the current builds up and builds up and builds up. Uh, the lighthouse with the old foundation uh, would have been long gone down the river. From then on, little by little, uh, we painted it uh, twice. Uh, and uh, the first time uh, uh, we hired a, a painting contractor to do it, and uh, he did the whole thing. This last time was uh, two years ago, and uh, they pretty much scraped and, and stripped the whole exterior varnished the inside and uh, uh, restored the railing on the outside. Uh, the roof was done uh, several years uh, before that restoration. Uh, the uh, platform around the outside of the lantern was, was done during this most recent uh, restoration. They're all copper and uh, all, all uh, restored as original. The doors, as you see, open behind me. Uh, They've all been replaced twice. Uh, we uh, replaced them with some, some pine one time and they didn't last 10 years. And uh, this last time we, uh, we duplicated them with uh, some laminated, more, more modern door, but it looks identical to the original. The Groziel Lighthouse is a symbol of Groziel. It is who we are. Uh, the lighthouse is owned and owned by the township. It is maintained and preserved by the Groziel Historical Society. However, it is through the community that the lighthouse is what it is today. It is through a community effort that we protect and preserve it. It is our community that upholds it and keeps it going in the direction that it is going. Um, it is a proud symbol of who we are on Groziel and we would not be who we are without it. Uh, the people that uh, are, are proud of, of uh the light, and, and it's just become a symbol on Groziel. Uh, the picture of it is used in the Eel Camera, which is the uh, local newspaper publication. It's used on their on their masthead, and uh, uh, it, it uh, it's just a nice simple of a symbol of a of uh, living on an island. I'm a native Grozeler. I've had a good time growing up here. It was a great place to grow up.